23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Brenna Rose. Here's a look at what we're following. Crews are making some progress containing the Palisades fire, but a firefighter has been injured on the job. It's not clear how severe those injuries are. According to our LA affiliate, 48-year-old Ramon Santos Rodriguez was booked on suspicion of arson and is being held on $75,000 bail. The brush fire is burning about 20 miles west of downtown LA. At last check, officials say 32% of the fire is now contained. The flames underscoring what experts say is becoming the new norm, an earlier start to fire season. The Kern County Fire Department is wanting to make sure the residents are ready for what could be a very busy wildfire season. The department has a press conference. It's scheduled for tomorrow to talk about the Ready Kern telephone notification system and the Ready Set Go program. Both are aimed to help make sure that residents are aware of any wildfires that might pose a threat and give the evacuation order if needed. Now we will bring you updates as that meeting is not open to the public. Here's Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk with a check of your forecast. All right, so after yesterday's seasonal mid 80s, today with this surface high pressure and controls, upper 80s for the valley floor. And then tomorrow we're going to push that system out of the way. So with that, 87 in Bakersfield, 77 in Keene, 82 in Isabella, some 90s in Ridgecrest. Okay, let's get a little hot, but take a look at tomorrow as we push that system down out of the way. By Thursday, that paves way for the system to start digging in. Friday and Saturday, that cool air is in place. Not really a chance of any showers out there, but 70s for the first time since the end of April. That is a good treat for this time of year here in Bakersfield. 80s to 70s to 60s the next couple days in Isabella. Look at Tatchby and Fraser Park with sunny 70s today, seasonal upper 60s tomorrow, and then just the 50s. Remarkably cooler with those winds Thursday into Friday. And that's what's making news this hour.